Hello Grey Zone Warfare fans, I'm Cory, better known as the Devil Dog Gamer, one of the community managers here at Madfinger Games, and I'm happy to bring you our first community briefing. In this briefing, we focus not only on the game, but also on the community, answering questions, highlighting achievements, and helping you better understand Grey Zone Warfare. Since day one, we have released three hotfixes, which covered everything from server crashes to GPU crashes, also adding the ability to wipe your character to change factions to play with your friends, and also solved the pesky no head and container issues that plagued many of our users. Along with that, we are also working on our first patch with a long list of fixes. If you are having issues of any kind in Grey Zone Warfare, we have a large topic sheet that lists all the fixes the community has found from everything from disconnects to performance increases. While we can't guarantee that these fixes will work for everyone, we have had many reports that these fixes have either solved or improved the gameplay for them. This is only a temporary solution as we are working hard on optimization and server fixes to get everyone running and enjoying Grey Zone Warfare. We at Madfinger are committed to getting everyone in GZW and having all players have an enjoyable experience. If you've been logging hours in GZW, you might have heard this a few times. Negative, all birds are in the air. We are aware of the issue and working on solutions. This is an unintended side effect of the amount of solo players, which are more than we expected. But as a community, we can make everyone's trip a little easier in the meantime. When at the FOB, communicate to your fellow faction members where you are going. Many will likely be traveling to the same POI. This will decrease solo choppers and also give you some backup. When leaving a POI, talk to your other faction members and let them know you're returning to the FOB. Many would likely join you in this trip, and if it's a full chopper, it's three less people calling for a bird for pickup. While these aren't ideal solutions, sometimes working as a team can breed better results. We have been seeing your reports about the Aimbot AI, and the developers are looking into it and possible solutions, but I would like to offer some tips on how to navigate AI that are more skilled, like those in Banpa. When an AI begins to engage you, don't stand and fight. Try to break its line of sight. If you immediately run behind a bush or foliage to hide, the AI likely saw that as your last movement and will engage the bush knowing you are still behind it. This also goes for running quickly around a corner to break line of sight and stopping to heal. The AI assumes you are still behind that building and will begin to suppress it, likely leading to a death. Instead, break line of sight and continue to put more cover and concealment between you and the engaging AI. The AI will eventually move to your last position that you were spotted by them, so be aware as they will attempt to reacquire you. This will allow you to reposition and engage the AI while their focus is on your previous location. Also note that if you stay in one position for too long, you can become surrounded, so shoot and move. Ammo selection in GZW is crucial, and I wanted to take the time to explain the ballistic mechanics along with giving recommendations on which ammo you should use until unlocking more. We are aware of the lack of performance on 9mm and shotgun rounds, and we are working hard to get them up to standard. The AI and players all work on a vital organ and blood system, and each bullet bullet, when penetrating the body, leaves a temporary cavity that can spread damage outside of the initial bullet path. Repeated shots to a limb of an AI or player will not increase blood loss as an artery can only really be severed once. Shots focused on vital areas will either result in a coma on players or instant death. For 5.56 weapons, I suggest running hollow point boat tail ammo when running the first town, as there are less armored AI to attend to, and then moving to M193 when moving to other POIs, as it's a good balance of pen and damage. After leveling up Gunny, M855 and M855A1 will be your go-to ammo when encountering AI and players. For 545 weapons, PS ammo is the go-to when unlocking Turncoat and using AK-74s. Once you unlock Turncoat rank 2, BT ammo will be suitable for players and AI. After maxing Turncoat, BP and BS ammo will be more than suitable for general AK-74 use. For 7.62x39 weapons, please at the start use SP ammo. The US ammo has an incorrect description, and US ammo is actually a subsonic round. SP ammo is good enough to use until unlocking PS ammo, which is better all around for player and AI situations. After unlocking more rank, you will get access to BP ammo, and this is perfect for all situations. For 7.62x51, the M80 will be sufficient for AI engagements and some precise player shots. After unlocking M80A1, it should be standard use due to its unarmored and armor pen it can carry. Once you unlock M61, that will be more than enough to take on players and AI. For 762x54R, you will only have access to LPS at the start, which will handle AI with ease and even take on players with well-placed shots. After Artisan Rank 2, you will get access to 7N1, which will increase lethality against players. When you unlock Artisan Rank 3, you will get access to 7N13, the AP round of the series. This will become your go-to not only against AI, but armored players as well. 
We currently do not have any details to share or ETAs on any updates, but the developers are dedicated to getting everything in GZW to an enjoyable state, at which point we can start adding quality of life additions and more to the game. As community managers, it is not only our responsibility to be active in the community, it is also our job to report on what the community is talking about, whether it be good or bad, issues or suggestions. We painstakingly read every post and thread on all socials and make a very detailed report with many of your comments and suggestions suggestions and share it with the developers. I can promise your voices and concerns are not going unheard. We would also like to introduce a new area in our Discord called GZW Community Briefing. This is a place where you can ask questions or post content with a chance to have your questions answered in the community briefing or you having your content featured. This game and community is fueled by you and we want to include you as much as possible. This concludes this community briefing and we thank you for your support of Grey Zone Warfare and your patience. In the next episode, we will cover not only community questions, but also new information and upcoming changes. Until then, stay safe and remember, every move matters.